Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy, and today I was feeling like I should do a look for a Black History Month because why not? Makita, serene, majestic, beautiful Queen of Sheba. Yes, so great was the beauty of this magnificent black woman, it has become legendary. And now, out of the mist of 3,000 years, emerges today's beautiful black queen. Naturally beautiful, radiant, she is black essence. And her beautiful natural hair is her crowning glory. So, as you can see, she is drop dead gorgeous. She has always just been the just essence of what I see as black beauty besides other women she's like the top tier for me and I was like you know I have hair now I'm no longer bald so I could pick out my little curls create a fro I can't believe I have a fro now like I kid you not last summer I had a blonde fade hence why I have blonde tips that look like I got a whole bunch of lint in my hair, which I think I do. Anyways, oh, that's product. Okay, I'm getting distracted. But, so that's the look that we are going to be doing today. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with doing my eyebrows. You know, I don't like to take too long doing them, so I'm just gonna speed up that part. Ginger, we're going to put that in our crease. Now I'm just going to go in with credit, which is choo -choo, can't find it right there. And this is where I'm gonna kind of just gradually build on on um, this part with my crease so I don't get it everywhere because you just really want to focus it right in that socket and sometimes just tilting your head slightly upward could give you an advantage on the placement so you're not taking that color up too high and you just want to pack it on like that and then tap it off and just slowly spread it in your socket
So now it's kind of created that illusion of a deep socket. And this technique really works with um, people with um, monolids or hooded eyes, whichever one you call it. I'm just adding more. Really concentrating the color on the outer crease corner and then bringing the rest inside. Now, I know some people like to start right here to for like the nose to create that bridge to make it stand out. I do that with contouring so I don't bother. But yeah, I think that's enough. I'm going to go back in with ginger though and just kind of diffuse the edge. So I'm not even going to show you what, it's like a yellow gold eyeshadow that I've had for years, like I want to say six years. And I'm just going to place that on my brow bone. I want to apply Let Me Pop on the eyelid. This is by MAC and I'm just using my finger. in with color pop and I'm placing it on top of it we're just gonna do a thin liner and make sure we just take the line a little bit further out just for exaggeration like that Now I might not do mine too thin because it's just the way my eye curves the brush normally in the middle of my eye makes it like it, it lays away where the ink kind of thickens in the middle but not too much. So I'm going to put on some Ardell lashes. I only have the wispy kind, they're the demi wispies, which I thought would be perfect for this look since her lashes were very wispy. That's what they look like. If you don't remember what demi wispies are, focus now. And these are what demi wispies look like. If you don't remember what they are. All right, now that we are done with the eyeballs, we are just gonna finish up <clears throat> with our foundation. And I'm using Juvia's Place Foundation. So, my camera stopped recording, but you didn't miss anything. I didn't do anything new involving my you know my skin routine foundation routine I just simply highlight it as normal contoured as normal the only thing I would say is I just pinched the, the bridge of my nose just a little bit more so yeah that's really all I did I contoured highlighted blush now when I realized the video stopped recording I was just finishing up my lip liner so I'm going in with brown lip liner as usual she was wearing gloss and it was more of a neutral color so I was like this is gonna be perfect and I'm sure I'm sure that it was gold See, this is the thing about these types of glosses is that They start off, they look like this, but they come out as kind of silver from the glitter. 
Now we're gonna go in with our hydrating facial prime and setting spray. And this is the look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. So this is the finished look. Ooh, I really like it. Oh, it looks so like, it looks so pretty and dainty. I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did creating it. I'm looking at the monitor, guys. I'm sorry. We're gonna um, go ahead and leave this where it's at. It's done. We completed it. Boom. We good. I hope you guys, you know, continue chasing after your dreams, doing what you want to do. It's 2020. It's a new decade. Just go for it. Don't let your ideas and your goals be just that. Execute them. See if it's meant for you to achieve them or it's meant for you to move on to something else. But at least you can say you tried and now you can move on or you tried and it worked out. Right? Alright. So, um, on that inspirational note, I love you. Go be great. Chase after your dreams. Bye.